Coach, how would you assess this game here tonight? Well, I thought it was a hard-fought game. Uh, I thought uh, you know, there wasn't a lot of time and space out there. A um, couple of mistakes that cost us goals in the first period, and you know, we could never uh, seem to. We had a couple of good chances. He made some good saves. So, but that was probably the, the summary of the game. Didn't uh, get the result you wanted, obviously. But did you like the way your team bounced back uh, from how they played last week against the Panthers? Yeah, for sure. I think we we battled hard, and uh, you know, it just um, there was uh, very little space. And uh, like I said, I thought uh, you know the the mistakes that, that we made, uh, like on our penalty kill, you know, changing you know, four gave them the breakaway, that gave them the goal, and then another one in the, the, for their second goal. So. Wouldn't be for those two. I thought we, we had a good, strong game. Uh, another big physical game here today. I think almost 40 hits and 20 block shots. Is that becoming more and more a part of the identity here? Yeah, I think uh, you know it's, it's part of uh, it has to be part of our uh, ID identification. I think you know, especially now with you know with uh, some skilled players out of the lineup. I think we we got to grind and hopefully. Uh, you know, I think get maybe try to get more shots to the net and some rebounds. But to their credit, they're they're good defensively. They block a lot of shots and they don't give you much time. Uh, Jacob Bernard Docker skated in his 100th career game this evening. Uh, what have you seen in the growth of his game this season? Well, I think he's uh, you know he brings a, a physical presence. He you know he will block shots. Um, you know I think he's had an opportunity to to develop and, and worked on his game. Uh, through the years, so hopefully he keeps uh, growing. Let's first of all get your thoughts and an assessment of uh, how your team played here tonight. Um, yeah, I thought the first period was uh, was good, and um, we gave him too early. But um, you know, second we played well too, and um, I mean, outside of those two goals, I thought we kind of gave him just some bad changes and. Um, I'll learn from that and move forward, but I thought we battled hard today. Yeah, certainly a better bounce back game, one that I think everybody anticipated based on the last game uh, last week. Yeah, um, we wanted to come out and we didn't forget what happened, you know, at home there, and we wanted to give them a good effort tonight. And, um, you know, I thought we did that, and, you know, credit to them, they're a good team. And in the third period, they kind of just stayed on top of us, and we couldn't really create much. But um, I thought it was a close game. Both teams played hard. Um, three for four on the penalty kill, and a great stretch pass that led from the goaltender that led to the one power play goal. Yeah. Um, your penalty kill is seventh in the NHL over the last ten games. What's working right for the PK? I think uh, you know we're just doing well on um, entries. Our stand that was something we wanted to improve, and um, we're doing a good job going three flat and um, not letting them get in. And I think if you ice it once, and stats are stats online, you ice it once, the stats of Killing the penalty are a lot higher, so I think we're getting a good clear, and um, you know it's hard for them to come back and, and break in. So we're making it tough on teams. Another physical battle here today. I think almost 40 hits again and 20 block shots. Is that kind of willingness to lay the body on the line becoming a part of the identity here? Yeah, for sure. I think we're all just you know trying to follow Brady's lead. He plays hard every night. Um, I think we all can can learn from him in that aspect. And I think over the past you know three four games. Everyone's kind of done that, and um, you know you got to be physical in this league if you want to win, and just kind of stopping teams in their in their tracks. You can't just let them, you know, run around. So um, I've thought we've done a better job of that the past couple games. You're wearing a T-shirt that I don't think you've taken off all day. Here's no. a thousand pro games for um, for Ian Cox. Here, just a quick comment on the behind the scenes. Yeah. People like that. Yeah, they're you know the first guys in and the last ones out, and um, there's a lot of behind the scenes work, you know, and. You know, when we're going to the hotel to sleep and they're going to hang up the gear and stuff, that stuff doesn't go unnoticed. And I can say the same thing for all those guys in there. But, you know, Coxie doing a 1,000 games is such a great achievement. And, um, yeah, he's a good friend and um, like coming to the ring and seeing him every day. And he deserves he deserves everything. Hard fought, a good way to describe this game here tonight. Yeah, I think for sure. I think uh, obviously battled pretty hard. And it's, uh, you know, a tight checking game for most of it. And, you know, maybe just one or two mental errors in there. Good enough team to capitalize, and um, yeah, but I thought you know, we, uh, we definitely battled hard. Game number 100 for you, what does that mean? I mean, it means a lot. I think there's a, a lot of people that have helped me get to this point in my life, and um, yeah, I think just all the coaches, my parents, my family, um, I mean, countless other people, I think, have, have helped me get to this point. So I think it's more a reflection on 
uh, you know, those people in my life and just, uh, you know, how fortunate I am to, to be able to play in, in the NHL. So. You went into game number 100 of your career leading this team in block shots. A few more here tonight. Obviously, there's, there's an emphasis in your game to the commitment to sacrificing. Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's got to be a part of my game. Um, you know, if I want to stay in the NHL, and um, just trying to, to help the team any way I can. And, um, you know, sometimes I probably try to block a little too many and maybe, you know, get out of position once or twice and play too much goalie. But, uh, yeah, I'm learning as I go, and uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. On uh, the topic of milestones, it was uh, assistant equipment manager Ian Cox's thousandth game here tonight. What has uh, he kind of meant to the team thus far? I mean, he's awesome. All our equipment guys are great. Um, they do absolutely everything for us. Uh, you know, we have, uh, you know, the easy life, you know, get off the plane, go to the hotel, and, you know, they are setting up at the arena at 3 a.m. And, um, you know, we, we don't really see that, but we know it and we appreciate it. And, um, you know, Coxie's been uh, a great guy to me and, and to all my teammates. So it's a great accomplishment for him.